Hello everybody, welcome to our latest installation of Algebra 2 videos. Our focus for this chapter is how to use the graphing calculator, the TI um, 84, 83, whatever, how to use those graphing calculators to do some of the math, the number crunching that we're not able to do by hand. Um, so some of the skills we're working on um, are graphing, evaluating, solving, and then the other one's going to be maximum, minimum. I'll put that on another video. Um, but just to make sure, we have two different things that we need to focus on. The first is um, how do we use the calculator to uh, adequately get what we need from it. And the second thing that we should focus on, not only how do we use the calculator, but how do we write down our responses so that they reflect the work that we did on the calculator. So, first things first, I need to produce a graph of h of x equals 20 over x squared minus 4. You'll notice that this function has no real context, so it's very difficult for me to get an appropriate viewing window. The first thing I do then is I check to see that maybe this function is in the standard viewing window. The standard viewing window looks like this, where we go from uh, negative 10 to 10 and negative 10 to 10 with a counting by ones. So this is the default setting on the calculator. And I've entered in the equation in my calculator. And now I just want to see maybe in the standard window, do I get a good graph? And it sure seems like it. There's a lot of stuff um, that's interesting happening within this, this. And if I could see if x is really much larger than 10, I'm probably going to get y values very close to 0. And if x is any smaller than negative 10, I'll have the same behavior. This stuff up here seems to think that, or seems to indicate that uh, there's some weirdness going on in the middle, but I can see what I need to see. And especially given context clues, I was asked to evaluate h of 2, h of negative 3. So these are x's, 2 and negative 3. They fit within the window I showed. And I was asked to solve h of x equals 5.7. That's the y value 5.7, which is also on my window. So I'm satisfied with the graph that I have. Um, all I have to do is transfer it to paper. Before I do, I'm going to make sure that I have the calculator skills necessary to evaluate h of 2, h of negative 3. Now, for various reasons, I'm going to go h of negative 3 first, and I'll show you how to do that. To find the value of a function, to evaluate a function, is simply to uh, go to your value option. So to do that, you hit second, which is um, the second function key, and then you hit calculate, or, or hit the trace button to get to your calculate menu. So here's your calculate menu, and the very first option you have is value. This will tell you the y value of a function for any x. So as soon as I hit enter, it's going to, the calculator will prompt me to put in whatever x I want. So I get to put in whatever I choose for x. This said let x equal negative 3. Don't forget, we want to use the negative key, not the subtract key. So negative 3. As soon as I hit enter, not only does it produce the value that y equals 4 when x equals negative 3, but it even shows me where on the graph that exists. So here's the point, negative 3, 4. Now, the one above it was evaluate h of 2. Um, so I'm gonna, um, I don't even have to go back to second value anymore. All I have to do is just pick a different x. I could pick x equals 5, for example, and it produces that value and shows me where on the graph and what y value I get. I could put in uh, 8. Same thing, now I see another spot further along with a smaller y value that looks like one third. But what happens when I put in x equals two, hit enter? Well, it didn't do anything. First of all, there's no point on the graph flashing or flickering. And second of all, it says when x equals two, y doesn't exist. Y equals nah. So, um, that must mean that two is not in the domain of the function. When the calculator doesn't say anything, it means the number you chose is not in the domain. There is no point on the graph that corresponds to that value. So, the value command, once again, it's under your calculate menu, and um, all you have to do is select value, and then you pick any number for x that you want, and the calculator will tell you the corresponding y that goes with it. In case you forgot, what the calculator is doing is it's putting x equals 1 into this value for x, x equals 1, and then it's taking 20 divided by whatever x you chose minus 4 and all that. So it's using the equation to produce those numbers. The last thing we need to do is um, solve h of x equals 5.7. So the first thing I want to do is to demonstrate that when we're asked to solve that, we should be really clear about what equation it is we're trying to solve. So in this case, since h of x is 5.7, I'm going to write the equation. Uh, well, if I could do that, the equation will be 5.7. Uh, equals 20 
over x squared minus 4. Now, there will be a time when we'll be able to solve this by hand, but until then, we're going to rely or lean on the calculator to do that. So I'm going to solve this equation, and I'm going to put the solutions right down here as soon as I find them. To find the solutions, I first go to my calculator, and I'm going to... Um, make y2 equal to the 5.7. So h of x is 5.7. I'm going to go to the graph and see how many solutions to anticipate. And it looks to me like we are going to have two unique solutions to the equation that I just wrote down recently. So to find those solutions, we go to intersect. So we go to second, calculate. I choose option 5 this time. So we can either hit the number 5, or I can Nintendo down to the number 5. And uh, there I would hit enter. And now it needs to know where do you want to see the intersections? What's the, what, are, what are the curves? And so I hit enter for the first curve. Now it jumps immediately to the second curve. So I hit enter again. And now it's going to, um, well, it'll work for a little while and see if it'll give me the intersections. Uh, see, now what happened here is I got an error from the calculator. I did this on purpose to get you to understand. Uh, when, when the uh, error message comes up, basically, it's telling you that it couldn't answer your question the way you asked it. So I'm going to hit quit, and if we can understand why that happened, we're going to go back to intersect, uh, option 5. The calculator is reading the function, and as it read this one, the blue function, it just kept going down and down and down and kept getting really, really negative. And uh, as it was reading the red one, it just stayed the same. And so it, it wasn't seeing an intersection happening. So in order to get this to work, we're going to have to Nintendo over... Um, to a point that's very close to the intersection we want. And now from this stage, I will hit enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. And now the calculator will give me the correct value I was looking for. To find the other intersection, we go second, calculate, and intersect. But this time, we're going to Nintendo until we are closer to the other intersection graph looks symmetrical, so I could probably guess it'll be negative 2.7 something, but this should do the trick. Enter, 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 and it gives me negative 2.704 to get y equal to 5.7. So I found the two solutions. So to use the calculator, it's really just a matter of entering the equation, selecting appropriate viewing window, and graphing. Once we have the graph, if we know the x, we can use the, y, the value feature to find the y, if we know the y, we can use the intersect feature to find the x. So that's the, uh, the, the, the basis of it. Now we have to get to uh, what are we actually going to write down. And uh, so in order to do that, um, oops, we'll do this. Um, first of all, this is a display. This is in your notes. It's on page 32. Um, this will show you all of the different uh, commands that I use to get value and, and solve and graph. But how is it actually going to look when you write it up? So here's a sample write-up. It's not perfect, but here's a picture of the graph that I saw. I labeled the x-axis, labeled the y-axis with my scale, so it's clear what I'm doing there. And then I got to the uh, evaluate part, and I found h of 2. And it said, according to the calculator, h of 2 is undefined. And just to prove that, I did h of 2 by hand. So here's me doing that work to back it up, and this shows why it's undefined, because we end up dividing by 0, and we can't do that. We go a little further along here, we can notice that uh, I was also asked to evaluate h of 3. <coughs> Excuse me, so here's where um, h of 3 uh, equals 4. I got that from the calculator, I labeled it on the graph up top. And then just to prove that I know how to do math, I did this by hand and I got the same result. So now I know why h of negative 3 equals 4, and I proved it on the graph as well as by hand. Um, the next question, solve h of x equals 5.7. Here you can see I wrote down the equation that I'm solving, and then I say that according to the graph, we should have x equals approximately negative 2.74 or positive 2.74, so plus or minus. And I shouldn't have had that extra negative there, but whatever. So um, to check, uh, what I did was, if you have the spare time, what I did here was I put one of my two solutions in, uh, which was uh, 2.74, put it in for x, and I got these results and turned out to be accurate. So I win. Um, actually, no, this is... Oh, this is me solving the equation by hand, so this is a little bit more advanced. You can do this if you want to, or you can just lean on the calculator. It depends on what kind of an A you want. So that's a long enough video for today. Um, enjoy. Have a nice day.